defending Will no, Smith. No, no. I paid $4 no, 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 no. for parking don't, don't, to listen to some don't, fucking paisan defend someone smacking around Chris fucking Rock. Hit him. You hit him. Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom, hey. Uh, Yo, Dom. Yo, Dom. We're here with Joe Bartnick. Joe, how are you? What's happening, fellas? Hey, everything's happening. Let me tell you, I was at home in bed. I was quiet. Then I like, come here. We used to have the story right in my head, next to my room. Now I'm like, I gotta fucking come here. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, I, I know. You have to have like, uh, you have to be gay parking to yeah. park outside. Well, we usually tape virtually. I don't know if you've watched the show before, so we usually do it. Right oh, you do a here. Zoom. So right. parking is still hard by yeah, Zoom. Exactly. Still can't find a place to park on Zoom. And Bill, Bill, what's his name? Bill. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Phony, I'm telling you right now. The man is a phony fraud. Of a guy. He's not even Irish. He's, he's German. No, I know. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm, I'm only kidding. He's one of the best. He's the best, actually. He's, 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 you know, I, it's one of those things where, like, I'm on the team, so it's hard to say, you know. It's like, well, voting, for, it's like voting for your coach for coach of the year. That kind of uh, level is, uh, you're not really top it. It's just different taste at that time. Exactly. You get, you know, so there's no, there's no best. It's, like, it's not like the 100 yard dash. When you, he he wins, you know, because he came in first. But yeah, there kind of is a belt, though. You know, kind of like Chris Rock had the belt, I think, and then I think Chappelle had the belt, and Louis C.K. I kind of think Bill has the belt right now. I kind of go like this. I don't know how you guys feel, but you know, when someone has the joke on the subject, and that's the joke. Like when there's a subject, like Chris Rock had a couple subjects, like that's the joke. Like throw your notebooks away. Well, Burr has a couple jokes for like, well, that's the joke. I don't even have to try to write it. Yeah. Funny for, first thing that comes to mind is that Schwarzenegger one he had for the longest time. Uh, he was funny. Schwarzenegger. Oh, kill. Uh, <laughs> gut lift. Gut lift. Yeah. You know, he he great impressionist. He did a great Schwarzenegger. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Maybe you and me will go in the afternoon like real scary, scary men together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, you know, tell you because what? Say he Arnold banged his maid. Like say everyone knew on like Sunday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you saw every bad Schwarzenegger impression joke. You know, where everyone trying. Thursday, me, him, and Al Madrigal took my my beautiful old Cadillac down to Irvine. I'm sitting in the green room having a couple pops. I heard burst ten million ten minute brilliance on the subject of Schwarzenegger. And I'm like, oh my god, like that's it. That's like clicked in, like. He's the new Chris Rock because it clicked in like that's the joke. Like a slip. Everyone else like can slap him. Chris Rock. I mean, every time I see him, I just want to smack him in the face. How about you? Uh, you, you know, you know, I'm kind of triggered by that, Dom. <laughs> it took me until maybe like three months ago not to just want to smack Will Smith around. Yeah. It seemed like he punched all of us in the face when he did that. I would wake up raged, like, God damn it. Too. I, 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 I say it's the wrong time, wrong pl- The guy has, obviously has issues at home, so it's just... That gives, well, you, that gives you right to go smack no, one no, of the no, greatest no, no, human no, beings no, of no. all time? Whoever it was, it was going to happen. Just, if I have a fight with my about- wife, I could go over and smack you around? I'm saying... You know why? He's afraid afraid of his wife. That's why. Nothing physical. I'm I'm not justifying it. I'm just... It sounds like you are. No way. Are you kidding? Well, what were you doing then? No, I'm saying... Define justify. We For the first time ever, we caught something on television that was not supposed to... Like that... He didn't think it was being filmed? It wasn't like, oh, caught on tape by an ATM camera. He was at the Oscars. Yeah, right. It sounds like you're kind of no. It sounds like no, you're kind well, of. He is a Philly guy, so that part. Why oh, didn't he move out to Beverly Hills? I heard that stupid fucking the, song. The, the the anger. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> he's defending Will no, Smith. Not, no, I paid four dollars no, 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 for parking don't, don't, to listen to some don't, fucking paisan don't, don't, don't. defend someone smacking around Chris fucking Rock. Hit him! You hit him! Me. I can't take it anymore. Guy gets, guy gets one in and out burger, and all of a sudden he's Mister Hollywood now. He doesn't eat. No, 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 no. The fuck is no, going on? No, that's not you're what... off my soul, Joe. Show. Hit him! Dom, hit him! Done. He's not. He's not in this town, Dom. He's done. Really? <laughs> what? The, no air conditioning either. Makes me wither. Fuck it. Well, jump out of it. God damn it! You're gonna defend. I, you know, I'll, I'll I'll chime in here over from the producer's desk. I think the whole thing was staged. I think that the, I was going to go there. The whole too. thing with what a know, cop out for Ronaldo. That's a great producer. And, 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 same, and, and, same, same with his guest is a. I, I, I mean, I really think same it's, it's a side. Look, it's, I even it's Hollywood. Say it's the Oscars, I right? It, I thought it's, for a second, it's scripted, top to no. bottom. You don't think so? I'm positive it didn't happen. 
You want a piece of me? <laughs> I'll fucking hit anything. Hey. <laughs> I ain't doing this slim. I ain't doing this slim. Uh, <laughs> I almost saw a fight today in my pool. I had to break up a fight between two senior citizens at the aerobics pool. Really? Yeah. We have a group. Of, we have a group of ladies, and we're, uh, I'm one of them. I come every day too. <laughs> I'm eye candy for those broads, Tom. They're all eighty. I'm a good looking. I'm a good looking fifty four. Uh, <laughs> we always go hang out. Well, now the dwarf. We're in Sierra Madre, but it's a YMCA, so it's not like a bunch of rich kid people. And then the Duarte closed their pool, so all the Duarte chicks, ladies, old ladies, elderly women came to our pool, and no, that, we're, everyone's friendly, but. These two ladies are sisters. One of them grabbed the swimming, the tag from the back of this lady's, her sister's. I said backstracking, <laughs> fucking sir. She said, she grabbed, I'm, I'm just floating on my, on my, uh, on my, on my tube, you know, uh, uh, getting stretched in my back. All of a sudden, I heard this lady go, don't you fucking touch me. I'll smack, I'll knock the fuck out of you. I turn around, these two sick, heavyweight. 80 year old women are throwing hands in my swimming pool. I go, hey, 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 no fighting, ladies. Oh, you got involved. I had to stop. Uh, I, thought, I, I thought one of them was going to drown. I, I would have pulled out my camera phone. That's gold. I, I, don't, That's have, gold, I, I don't have a waterproof you... phone. <laughs> but yeah, but then and then the lifeguards are all cracking up. They're like, Bartnick's about, hey, we, we, we have a Bartnick is bouncing in our pool now. A lot of violence today. What do you yeah. say we double with them tonight? Me and you. Me? Oh, yeah. We'll pick a <laughs> you can have both of them, Dom. <laughs> Do they have nice, saggy tits? Oh, like, yeah. I don't like firm tits. I like saggy tits. Their, their tits don't come past their gut. Their guts go further than their tits. I'm hard as a rock now. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how was, uh, how was filming Old Dads? It was fun. It was. How, how did that happen? Uh, you know, basically, uh, me and Bill have been friends forever. And he knew I used to be a bouncer at a strip club. And they know, I mean, and I always, I'm always typecast in every role. I always just play an Italian. And he always like, I, we got the role for you. We got the role for you. And a couple of months before they start filming it, he goes, can you, you want to do this? I go, absolutely. And then we went two days in a row, me and Verzi and everybody else was a true stuntman. Like had been in like Jaws, go, go, going back to Jaws and all these, all these movies from the seventies and every there were like six stunt guys. And then. Uh, so we practiced. If I didn't do karate, I would have never been able to do all the moves. It was a fight scene. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a Burt Reynolds fight scene where it went on and around and around, around. But and it you, and it you, was you, you punched Burt, right? It, in the movie, I mean, in the filming of it, I punched Bobby Carnavale. I threw another guy. I headbutted a guy. I kicked the guy. I did like five different things. The way it was edited, it looks like I did everything because they cut out all the other amazing. action. It's amazing how they do it. Yeah. I was in uh, Everybody Loves It, right? Uh, no, uh, King of King, Queens, excuse me. And I, I said, it was just like a foot away. He goes, oh, but it was perfect. And my mom just sit on camera. Remember that, Sam? Yeah, it. Clear, clear. Oh, it was, a fight, it was a fight scene? It was a, it was a fake fight scene. I was faking that, it, that uh, what was it? Uh, they, were, they, were, they were gay guys. I tried to make him a gay guy. Yeah, something like that. But it was a fake fight scene. For a matter of make it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I actually tagged Bill once on one of the takes. But it took us like two days to practice. And me and Verzi were the only two non-stunt guys. My favorite part of the whole thing was I got to have a stare down with Bobby Carnavale, who's like my favorite actor under the age of 70. Yeah, he's, he, is great. He, was, he was a he, beast. Yeah, he's great. Boardwalk Empire. Oh, yeah, Jip Remember Rossetti. Show, Boardwalk uh, Empire? I never saw it. It's like the Atlantic history City. of AC oh, yeah. before uh, or during Prohibition. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's he, a great one. He killed it. He's in a, I mean, he's in a bunch of stuff, but uh, so I get to have a little stare down. That's my favorite part of any, any movie is like charisma, I charisma. So I got to do that kind of like the Pulp Fiction when it was Johnny T versus uh, Bruce Willis. Like, you, well, you're looking at my friend, you're my friend, but you look good. What'd you say? You heard me, Palooka. <laughs> so I get to do that with it. And they kept it in there because I thought for sure they cut it out, but they gave me my extra one second of like, my wife would always say, if you can get that Southside Pittsburgh stare, it'll be a movie star. So I got that like, and Carter Valley is such a great actor that I literally, it was back to my like 20 year old self. Like he was the douchebag I had to throw out. Like he was that guy. Oh, you like sent the, he, that's the energy he was giving you on set. Yes. I mean, on set, he was awesome. We went to Dodger game with the all-star game together. He was oh, a great so guy, awesome. but just his little thing like, yeah, Joey. Or like, yeah, Randy. Like he was a douchebag. That's cool. Yeah. How, how long of a, 
like for that particular scene what what's it take three days four days took us two days to rehearse and one day to shoot it like i said there's a a huge black dude did like a jimmy snooker off and landed on people it was a whole big thing that they just cut down to like three, 20 seconds that's like a seven minute scene for three days seven minute scene it was like uh i don't think it was less than that the movie. less than that yeah wow yeah, and just think about how much money it costs too. I mean, it's probably three or four hundred grand for those couple of days of production. Mm -hmm. I mean, th that was just my bar tab. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I spend on Crown Royal. For no, my no, you know what's crazy? I seen you open for Burr in Reading two summers ago, and they put that on the big screen, the sh the, the movie at the time. I guess they didn't know if it was going to get picked up, but they were showing it as like a coming attraction. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just came out, what, two weeks ago on Netflix. Yeah, number yeah, one yeah. movie in the world, 87 countries, two wow, weeks in a row. Man. God bless you. What, did you see us in, uh, what, did you see us in the Reddit? The, the hockey stadium. I, it, it was I, you. I was on that show? Yeah, yeah. It was when I, I first moved back to the uh, PA area. Oh, okay. And uh, you were there. Who else was on the show? Was it Dean on that show? Dean, yeah. Dean Del Rey. You know him? Yeah, yeah. Dom. It's funny. Okay, no, because one of them we had to, we, we we like we walked right across to the hotel, and I just got to hang out with all the fans for like hours. That, that was right. That was ready. Yeah. But now, do you do you and Dean like when you open for Bill? Do you rotate, or you're always in the middle spot? Like, how's that work when you guys are touring? Uh we kind of, we kind of rotate now. It's kind of like a like it used to be. It's always like you know you open you open up for a minute, and then when we uh, then when you can handle it, then then you can middle then we. And we're all friends. We kind of rotate in. That's awesome. You know, because uh, I don't. I only do a couple a year now with Bill. So the the best was me and Verzi got to do the garden. Yeah, that's amazing. That was the best night. It was my special when I did the Mary Lemieux Foundation and Madison Square Garden were my three favorite nights ever. In the round, I was so scared. Dog, oh, I hate the round. Bill gave me the best. What's advice. that? What's that mean? The round. The stage is moving the whole time, so. You if you, if you fuck up and they call it the, the numbers in your head, you go, oh, is that two? No, that's three. We missed it. You know, it's like. It's well, in Arizona, it spins. The garden didn't spin. Right. Well, one of the craziest sets of my life was in Arizona because I didn't know that you're supposed to stay in the middle. I'm always on the edges. And then they have video monitors. So then you just completely. I was totally hung <laughs> over. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't nervous. Like at the forum, I ran on stage. I was second at the form after dean and i just ran on stage and i to my music and i just kind of because dean killed and i just ran on stage and did it and i was like okay and i didn't really like savor it and then we know it was great so i'm like for the garden i was first but then verzi and i'm like i'm taking my time my last couple steps was like the man on the moon I just took my time walking but i was nervous and bill goes just to, here's the four different theater shows just go around and that's what i did and it was fun it was just a phenomenal phenomenal evening so it was actually in the garden not in the theater below right in, in the, in no it was it oh, was at a, wrestlemania one yeah. ollie wait, wait, frazier there's a two-stage setup in the garden well, there's a little theater. one yeah, there's a theater downstairs yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 there's a theater that must be crazy i mean it's what thirty-five thousand people no it was probably like 18 19 000. i mean it's still the same but it was funny because i i was totally nervous what's great is right before you walk right Right near our dressing room yeah. was a picture of Frank with the tuxedo with the furls in the middle. It says Sinatra in the round, like 1974. <laughs> this is so fired up. And then I killed, Verzi killed, and we we're backstage, and that Bill was on stage, and we just had a, uh, we just had like a pop together. And I go, it's never going to get better than this. And I've had a great life, but it probably has never been better than that. <laughs> have you have you done the garden, Dom? No. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let me in. <laughs> You're, are you like Charles Oakley? Yeah, right. <laughs> what happened to him? You're they, they, gonna be in, in uh, like a talk show or some shit. Well, I know that like he was critical of the, of the Knicks, and they oh, right. and they took like twenty guys to throw him out of the garden, or they That's asked him to leave. <laughs> yeah, Oakley's the best. He's like Michael Jordan's personal chef. Is he really? Well, he goes. He's, he's one. Of the, he's one of the entourage. He always cooks when they play cards and stuff. Charles Oakley, man. Yeah, he should. Jordan showed up. Did you ever see him in person? Michael Jordan played basketball, yes. In person, like in the neighborhood, no. Bro, he. I was down the shore one summer in Margate, and we're coming off the beach right near Memories, and Jordan gets out of a car, 
you talk about a moment. It's like, I guess the, the best thing I compare, it, it would be like him and Michael Jackson. That's the kind of vibe you get. Like people were just running like maniacs. Like, like it was a boy band. Crazy. Out of nowhere. Like we're just at the, apparently he had a big, uh, he, had a, uh, he was friends with Jay-Z and they had a club. I mean, he had a club in AC for a while. The 4040? I didn't know he had a piece of that, but it was just so random, dude. One summer, he just pulled up to a restaurant in uh, Margate and uh, complete chaos. Because this this portion of the Jersey Shore is just all Italians and, and Jews. And then out of nowhere, a car pulls up and it's Michael Jordan. And it was just like the most random... You know where uh, Jerry Blavitt's old club is, yeah, sure, Memories. Yeah. It, the restaurant was right across the street. I don't I don't know if it was called Tomatoes or, uh, but yeah, it was just some random. They do a lot of those celebrity golf tournaments in AC. Uh, Joe Pesci, I've seen. Well, it's the perfect place for it. You're near New York and you can gamble. Yeah, but. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly the, what you the, want. The, the reason I think Atlantic City will never compete with any other like 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 a vegas or something to that it the thing that hurts them they need to invest money in the airport because it's not a i think it's the ghetto that hurts them well I think that's what yeah. hurts them is the ghetto yeah the but the whole the, neighbor the whole city in the ghetto is but if you invest yeah. it, if you i think all the pa- i think all the pawn shops are they, yeah, they never the but the first of all those streets should be engraved in gold and the, if they if they invested in the airport, it could always be a destination. You stop in, you gamble, then you go to New York, then you go to these East Coast cities. But if you have a money, you just take a car from New York. Well, that that's that's the most common thing right now. So it's like, who wants to fly in the the Atlantic City? Well, I mean, there's there's destinations like that that have gaming where it's the reason that aren't in New Jersey. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not, no, I'm not saying, well, Chicago, for example, Chicago has a small casino. Every city now has casinos, though. Cleveland has a casino. Does it really? Yeah. Wow. It's just as bad as you think. <laughs> they have one yeah. street, four street. Right, that's it. That's By hilarities, it's yeah, one street. That's a pretty good bond, but that's it, but that's it. That's it. Walk to the end of the block, there's a gang suit. You can't get out of that neighborhood. Right, even like the hotel is like, it's like, it's like a mall that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Or you might you probably stay in the nice hotel. I always stay in like the B hotel. Metal Act. Yeah, I think they, I think they keep the other people. Like they keep like oh like I think they keep the Thursday headliners in that other hotel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we were talking before uh, we started taping. You worked in San Fran. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I moved to San Francisco in uh, 1994, 90, and 94, and I started comedy. When I, I work, I went to work for the Warfield and the Fillmore uh, security, and I because I and, and the Punchline, and because I wanted to do, I wanted to, I wanted to be a comedian, so I went to work, I went to work at the Punchline. So they go, well, you know, we're owned by Bill Graham Presents, so you can work all three places. So I did, and I just started, and then by the time I got more and more into doing comedy, I just worked in the day answering phones so I could do sets at night, and that's how I met Jeff Wills. And he was just at the improv party last night. And I go, you helped me more than anybody. And he goes, how did I help you? You all did everything yourself. I go, if it wasn't for you, I would never open for Attell, Lampanelli, and Mitch Hedberg, and Bill Burr. And those are the four people that helped me the most. Wow. And those are relationships you built back in that scene? Yeah, because I was a a strong opener. Uh, So he'd have me open for all the guys, and Lisa's a lady, obviously, and uh, Wanda, the strong acts that came from New York. Because right then, before the internet, he would mine all the New York clubs. And that's when we went from being like a paper, you know, room that was like when comedy was going down, he helped build it back up in San Francisco because he just would bring the best comedians. People would just know the show would be great. What, was was that a good city to develop in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now you can develop yeah, anywhere. In the old days, it was like there, right, so there was right LA now. and New York, and then the best B-towns were Boston and San Francisco. The shows that I've gone to there, the local comedy scene is great. Like, there's a lot of really good young comics uh, there, but there's not much of like a sort of scene or anything like that. You know, it's like very scattered. Well, like when I moved there, you could live in this city and like work at a record store two days a week and sell a little bit of weed and make it. Like, I moved there 
with like three hundred dollars to my name when I moved there. Now, like you can't do, you can't get a pizza for three hundred dollars in San Francisco. <laughs> no, you can't even make money selling weed. <laughs> <laughs> but it used to be just tons and tons of artists, besides comics, just musicians and writers, and yeah. and then tech. And then the rent laws, the rent laws beat tech. The rent, they, they took away the rent protection right before the cell phones came in. So people would just disappear for like six months. So what happened to you? Because people got kicked out before people had cell phones, they'd lose their phone. Um, and after, some people moved to LA, some people moved to New York, some people moved home. The worst was the people that moved to the East Bay. It's like, you might as well move to Texas because I couldn't visit you. <laughs> it's like, uh, the East Bay was always just Amoeba Records and or if the Stones came to town, you'd go see them in Oakland. So why, why San Fran though at the time? Why why that why there? Because I like the party, and I still don't even like Los Angeles that much. I'd much rather live in San Francisco than Los Angeles right now. now yeah, all the dead people. Yeah, there's always been there's always been like homeless people up there. I live on Hate Street. There's tons of homeless people. I mean, it's it seems there's a little bit more. Wor- it's worse now in the last fifteen years. But I just, I, I like the weather. I like the city aspect of not having to drive everywhere. That, that's the best part about the city. You can, it's, it's very similar to New York where you can get around all over. Exactly. You don't need a car. No. Uh, I don't have one. That's it, how I felt about Chicago. Chicago was like that. Exactly. Yeah, you didn't need a car in Chicago. Because in there. San Francisco, once you find a parking spot, you keep it there. I mean, this is before people always broke into your car. It's like you just wouldn't move your car for a month. When, when, when you guys lived in New York, did you have a car where everything yeah. was tra- crazy? Yeah. yeah. No, I never lived the full time in New York. I was just couch surfing, in and out, living. <laughs> I t- did you, uh, you when you how long did you live in New York, though? About ten years. Ten years, and then you came here. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> then I came here. Yeah, I had to come here in those days. Right. But these kids today with the computers, they don't have to go anywhere. They don't need legs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've seen guys on skateboards. <laughs> Uh, well, ha- your, your special was shot in Chicago. Yeah, it's why well, I, I love that town. Uh, did you pick that location? Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, well my go? producer, like all things comedy, and kind of my director, they went and scouted it. Uh, I just said I wanted to do Chicago or Milwaukee, one of those two towns. I didn't want to do my hometown for my first one, and uh, so one of those two cities, like just hard work in the cities, kind of my fans. And we shot it on a Monday night, and we sold out both shows, and my fans broke the liquor record at the den. <laughs> Proud families, huh? Yes, exactly. Uh, they were a great crowd, so and it was a fun special. The, the Den, if you ever get a chance to shoot a special up there, you should do it. Though. They're great, great people. Is that is that a club? No, it's a, no. Um, now it's almost getting like everyone shooting specials there. Uh, Verzi say, just announced. He's yeah, uh, Verzi, he came to my special because I came to his first one, so he came to mine. I was, Did he have it, hair? Did he have hair then? <laughs> I think I think he could have hair if he tried. Not a full head of hair, but he's not going to go to Turkey. Everyone I know is going to Turkey and getting hair now. Turkey? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Hair transplants in, in, in Turkey. Really? Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, you, you have to convert to Muslim, but it's a, <laughs> you get a discount. One day we're coming from somewhere, man, helping me a burp, and he, he said, it, you know, it knocked me down because he was getting, I was getting everything. It just did one after another, and, and I had to cut him up for top of five minutes. Look, look at your fucking head, do it straight. Compared to your body, and I, I did it pretty good stack, so I needed that. <laughs> he did, but he he's such an honest guy. He had to tell you what my wife, he wanted us to be for failure. And he, let me feel anything. You know, every time I saw the Twilight Zone, the guy always won. And he was, he was in the mirror, and he thought, it, he thought he was in heaven first, and he was mm-hmm. in hell. Yeah, he, old Twilight he, Zone episode. This yeah. doesn't imply to Bill, it's just, it's just connected. Yeah. It's where it was so honest that, 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 that episode. Was um was that were you and Bert doing a show together? That was like backstage or something. You were telling them that, right? He was. Oh, well, we, we've done a number of shows, especially in, in Ireland. But uh, I, I had one of the f- funniest fucking nights of my life with him. I don't know. We weren't even drinking. We, everything just seemed so fucking funny, and people would look at us. Like, I, we were just making up stupid songs. Me mother, she was. Me father, me father came to see. And you know, like the, 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 the drunks were just piling up like they by dead bodies. And we everything seems so fucking you know. You know when you ever get the gigg- giggles with him? Oh yeah, all the time. Unbelievable. The hang. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we, I remember the thing we did in, in New Jersey. Oh, the like, legendary Philly rant. Oh, oh yes, Dom, Dom was before Bill. Bill followed him. 
Yeah, oh, right on. He grabs you and he goes, he goes, he grabs you and he goes nobody's going to take luck. This is your, your turn. Fuck them. I said, let it go. It's all right. I told them they're going to get blown by their mothers or something. <laughs> you know. I thought it was over, but that fucking one was so brilliant. I sat on the, the one of the speakers and just laughed. Oh, it's it's in, it's insane. It's funny because he did a, a Bill Graham show like that, like a couple of weeks later, out at Shoreline, kind of the same deal, and um, you could tell the crowd wanted him to do it. He's like, no, 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 it's not Philly. I'm not doing it. Yeah, it, it, that is a one time thing. It, it's it, it, and really only Philly can rise to that kind of the occasion. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like that's like it's only only in Philly <laughs> you kind of get away with that. It was, it was actually Camden. The suburb of Philly. Oh, I have I have family in camp. Well, outside of Collinswood. Yeah. Yeah. So tell them about our gig. Oh, no, we're doing Soul Joel's. That's yeah, awesome. Dom, uh, Dom's uh, doing Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, my God. So I'm on the lineup. Jimmy Schubert, Eleanor Kerrigan, Chris oh, Kosha. Did. Eleanor's the best. I love oh, yeah. Eleanor. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Jimmy Schubert. Oh, dude, I'm relaxed. I'm looking at the sun. I'm re- I'm at the beach. This is the beach. I am relaxed. I just hear the waves crash. I am relaxed. I'm eating the raw meat. I'm relaxed. <laughs> he went to Turkey for his hair. Did he really? <laughs> Good comeback. Putting that on the record. Putting that on the record. Oh, I just cry. I mean, he looks like Ric Flair's stunt double. <laughs> Does he really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get a kick out of it. So I'm guessing you and Jimmy break balls. He's my buddy. I oh, love okay. Jimmy. Right, yeah. Right. I never. I, I. I've only met him on the show when he did it with me and Don. Oh, only, only for only three, you didn't feel his, his rating charisma Not on yet. the Zoom. Not yet. Not yet. He's he's one of the all time, all time, all time greatest people. Yeah, I seen the Stewart documentary, and uh, that that's when I first heard of Jimmy, and then I started looking up all stuff on YouTube and everything. I'm a huge fan. Some incredible bits. Yeah, and one of the nicest guys, and just a. It just a slays crowds. Mm-hmm. He's one of the best comedians ever. He's underrated how great he is as a comedian. But he's all fighting out. He's a, he's changed his whole lifestyle. He's all healthy now, living in Florida. And we went to breakfast together, and he's just like this far away from me, just going, "Yeah, I'm, I'm broke, bro. I'm, I'm just the rays hit me. So I'll go to the beach at night, and I'll, I'll, I'll just hear the waves crash. I'll feel the moon. I ain't fucking relaxed, dog. Dog, I ain't fucking relaxed. Well, he told me he did a. They they, he, they 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 beat him. I said, they, they said, they, they, said but they don't let you talk. It's not a fair fight. You know what I mean? They they, they booed Justin Mark in there, and they oh, booed Jimmy everybody. Was on that show too, huh? Yeah, he was on that show. Robert Kelly, the Camden show. Uh, Jim Norton, right? Yeah, Bob Saget. Was Bob on Saget was, was on it. Uh, somebody else we had. Didn't, on you, the show didn't you tell me Jim Norton closed it? He closed it and he bombed. They didn't let them talk. They're all so fucking drunk. They yeah. live in their mother's basement. People, they might be at Soul Jones. I, I got to say, I love the comedy crowds in Philly. They're like wrestling fans. Like, they go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Helium rocks, punchline. I'm going to be a punchline Philly late in the end of March. I'm going to be at Soul, in the middle of March. I'm at Soul Jones the end of March. Nice. I'm going to try to compete, but uh, Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> no, Thanksgiving Eve, me, Florentine, and Jameson are doing Ben Salem. Nice. Oh, really? He's connected. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. You guys should do that sometime in the summer. Who's that? It's a big brewery. It's amazing. Really? Yeah, that, that, that's becoming more and more common, comedy and breweries. I did, wait, wait, I did, wait, I did wait, a wait, brewery wait. this... If you ever go to Pittsburgh, Dom, I can hook you up with uh, Low Lev. They'd love to have you. It's a it's a brewery in Pittsburgh. We did two shows, sold them out this weekend. You would crush it. That and uh, wineries I'm seeing are more and more common in stand up right now. Yeah, like, wineries. I, Russell Russell Peters, I bumped when I was in New York. He's a phony guy. Okay. He <laughs> They're all phonies. He did a wine Kevin Hart's there tonight. New York City Winery, it's called. Kevin Hart's at the winery? It it just popped up on my Instagram feed. He's doing a one night working out material. I'll just say New York what's City he, Winery. What's he called it? An open mic? Oh, it's called New York City Winery. No, 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 but that winery, I'm like, I mean, there's, there's, I, 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 there's other you, you, people way higher than me playing it, but I mean, and then there's sometimes it's a potpourri of people way lower than me. So I can't believe Kevin Hart is, I guess he's, you know, doing one of those feels. Kevin well, Hart. Kevin Hart. It's a phony. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop saying it. That's great. <laughs> it's my new, my new hook. Your hook? You gotta get some t-shirt stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He's a phony. Have you ever had merch? 
I can't fucking stand it. I had, uh, yeah, one time I had to start throwing them to the crowd. I just can't do it. I can't stand there and make change for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's one more quarter, sir. You can have my, my life story. I know. I, I used to sell CDs. And then it's like all of a sudden one day some kid's like, you're still selling CDs? <laughs> and that was it. Now people want me to sell different things. It's like, I, I can't do that anymore. But no. I'm saying it's important, you know? Important if you don't have any money. <laughs> I know. But I could use the money, Dom. You know? Yeah. I, I you could, get, you sell pay. merch? No, I'm, I was asking, you know, I'm trying to. I can't think of anything clever to put on a, on a hat or a T-shirt or a. That's it. <laughs> you just said, I'm telling you. I can't think of anything. <laughs> Stan. That's a uh, long T. That's a big hat. <laughs> I, worked, I, worked, I worked with a guy in Florida. He was, he, was selling, he was selling like sauce in a jar. Like it, I, I've seen bumper stickers. Yeah. I've seen magnets. Wristbands. Wristbands. Headbands. The sunglasses. Oh, yeah. I've seen shot glasses. But I think the fair approach when people... People do merch, I like comic. I think that they should say donations. I don't think you should put a price on things. That's just my personal opinion. But I say so, 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 so now you're a communist? No. no. <laughs> I'm saying as an audience man. I thought he was a man of comedy. He's defending no, because the tickets. You want to just have them say, you know what? Here are the tickets. Just give us what you want to come yeah. to us. Well, no. The, the, normally the comics are posted up right where they walk out. They're all no floating. Yeah, we were we gonna stand by the red room. Of course, they could be wherever they walk out, so you can get as many people as you can. They wash their hands. Yeah, come on, give follow them in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have. Can I tell you, I have this. I'm gonna have the bathroom attendant sell my merch, <laughs> a mint or a CD. I think like some people goes, you should just sell those download cards. Yeah, someone's gonna buy one of those. If you know how to use a download card, you're just gonna steal my shit. <laughs> And if you don't know how to use it, then you're never going to buy it to figure it out. Well, with the, it, I, another common thing right now, they, um, you know the barcodes for the, the food menus? Yeah, you QR code. I, I, I don't use that. QR, right? I, I don't do that. Comics are handing those out. Yeah. And uh, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can click it, and then you can... It, you're old school, man. Dude, I didn't even... You go to I, a restaurant, you won't click no, it. No, I don't. Say, hit hey, don't. I hit don't. him. Hit him. Yeah. I was trying to get something yeah. going between you two. <laughs> No, I literally go baby doll. Will you just you, can I just have? Do you have like you Barbara call doll? waitress in L.A. baby doll? Yeah. Okay. Right. Did I? That's, don't I? <laughs> you're so proud. That's my father. <laughs> babe doll, hun. I'm like that. You can't do no, that. I, no, I, I, I don't say hun. Dad, I, you can't. I, do I say that. baby doll, sweetie. Yeah. No, but I, I literally, I, go, I ain't doing it. I go, I go. Do you have like chicken parm, or do you have like a, do you have like a bacon on a cheeseburger? I'm like, yeah, that's. I don't know what doing that shit. They know what it is. You won't even scan the menu. That's how it's a little bit lazy, Joe. You won't, oh, even, you oh, won't oh. even scan. He's our guest. So he's only the only guy. No, that's, you're, you're just like my dad. My yeah. dad's the same way. He's like, you oh. scan it. You tell me what, what's on the menu. Yeah. That's for my father. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not. You know who I blame this on? And then he starts ranting all political. What did he say? The Mexicans? I? No. <laughs> blacks? Did I say blacks? Have you met my dad? No, you yeah. haven't met my dad. I know, I know your dad. Yeah, I'm, I'm your dad. <laughs> Tiny guy from South Philly. I think I, yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah. I get the picture. He doesn't want to use the QR code. No one does. It's stupid. You know the man. You just tell you what you want. But that that's a COVID thing. I don't know why restaurants are still do, doing. I'm not going to do my act. But COVID is just a reason for poor customer service and laziness. That's all. Why do they do that shit? Just put a menu out there and wipe it off when I leave. Cheaper. Exactly. This yeah. is bullshit. Did you enjoy the outside dining experience when that was... No, I hate eating next to homeless people. <laughs> yeah, they look so hungry. I think they should blow you. <laughs> you like outside dining, Dumb? What? You like down, dining outside? I don't know. Outside seating? <laughs> I know what it's like. I know what it is. You know, yesterday we was in my room, woke up tw two feet, and there's a, a, everything equipment now. To look at today, this is what, this is we're here. Look, can you get can we get the camera on this? Looks like oh my god, my stomach with cheese. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do we pick it up the check? 
Yeah, I'll pick up the check. All right. <laughs> so I, I went on, I went online. I found a couple cheesesteak spots in LA. We go to what's the one we go to? There's one yeah. called Bo- Boozes. Boozes. Booze. Yeah. Booze. There's one called the South Philly Experience. There's one on Vermont Street. Which I one? think is pretty famous. What's it called? I don't know. It's it's like a couple blocks past Hollywood Boulevard South that I know people went to. Kevin Shea went there a couple times. Little yeah. sales, you said, Sam? Fat sales. Hey, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat outside? I'm not going. I'm not going to go if I get the QR code. I can't. Can I say like, I went to Philly cheesesteak. Where you got his wit without wit without whatever bullshit. Yeah. That's that's uh, every town I go to I try to eat a like, Philly cheesesteak so you can expand that, it, No, isn't that isn't that instead of going somewhere and learning a new experience? Hey, let me try to find a Philly Well, I told I told you I flew in, first thing I did was in and out. Everybody they just hand you a cheesesteak oh, with that outfit on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit much. <laughs> what what loss to that? That's a good way to close, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> He, he, he imagine him in his bedroom going, he's, what a loss to that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah th- this is it. That's I'm okay. proud to be where I'm from. <laughs> At least you can't lose that shirt. It's bright. <laughs> <laughs> Helium gave us to me. It's nice. It's sharp. Oh, it says fight. I thought it said, I can't read. Yeah, you, oh, I thought it said fight. Oh, there you go. There you go. I've always thought it said, Well, that's it. Uh, I don't. Why did I pay for two hours of parking? You said like in fifteen minutes. I was like, <laughs> just go sit in the car for an hour. Yeah, this is this is this is like what do you call like you'll be in for one uh, one break. It's like radio one break. Why am I getting up this early? I was doing it now. Four o'clock. Four o'clock's early for you. No, I got up at like seven. Okay. I've done I've done anything. This has been such see, a, see I'm this, a, been, this has been such an honor though. I can't oh, believe. Believe me, legend, Dom. I love you so much. Thanks thanks for having me on this show. And he's probably like, God damn it, why is Are you a morning We're guy? looking for a partner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'll mean? wear a collar, dog. I won't wear a hat. <laughs> I, I, I got to go to Turkey next week. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> nice little so cool back, Bob. There you go. Uh, that's our show. Yo, Dom Joe, thank you again for hanging out. This has been so fun. You're very funny, man. Thanks for, for coming there. Thanks for having me. That was me being serious and nice. Thank you. I, I, I really, I mean, you're a legend. But that means I'm going to die soon. No, you're not going to die soon. He was a legend. I didn't say was, I said is. Yo, Dom, over here. Yo, Dom.